I really need to turn my mic on before I actually start talking. Okay. <laughs> oh man, you have no idea how many problems I've been having. <clears throat> the rocket's fueled up and ready to go, Spyro. Makes <laughs> different noise. I guess this hunk of junk is supposed to fly. <laughs> sure glad I ain't the one getting on. <laughs> Hop on, Spyro. Don't worry. Fairy engineering has never failed. Oh boy, we're screwed, aren't we? <laughs> Hop aboard, Spyro, and boldly go where no dragon has gone before. Well, at least not in a thousand years, at any rate. All right. The rocket is ready for launch, Spyro. Hop aboard whenever you want. All right, let's probably change Spyro's color. Let's um do the one color we haven't done yet. As soon as I get the paper again. I think for the final world, I'm just gonna stay purple because let's be honest, that's the only that's the only color we haven't really seen prominently in this game. Besides this color. All right. Up, left, down, right, up, square, R1, R2, L1, L2, up, right, down, left, up, down. Yeah! <laughs> Alright, now, we don't want to go to Midnight Mountain yet. We want to go back to Midday Garden, the opposite of Midnight Mountain, <laughs> and do the Bentley mission there. <laughs> Alright. So yeah, there's two colors I didn't do. Now there's just one left. I cannot see Spyro at all. Oh man, but anyways, the recording earlier, the, I'm still recording this on the same day as the last two sessions, okay? The first one, for some reason, re went really out of sync, and I'm guessing it has something to do with the fact that <clears throat> I think I dropped frames at one point, and that caused the audio to lag. Because I dropped... Apparently, I'm... This is just me assuming, but I dropped frames at some point, and then... You know, that caused the video to be further behind on my computer than it is, you know, from my TV. Because, you know, the recording's always about, like... You know, five seconds behind. It was, like... Twice that amount. It was like ten seconds behind. And usually you can get it back to normal by clicking the live button on the capture window. When that, I'm guessing that caused the problem. So the same thing happened during my last session with the um because the video went behind in the last session too. But I didn't click the live button again. I just let it be further behind than usual. So, yeah. The audio is not in sync for the second recording, but for the first one it is, and I have no idea how to fix that. Because I'm kind of stuck with Movie Maker for the time being. <clears throat> you know, I need something better like Sony Vegas, but you know, that costs money. <laughs> I'm sure there's probably some other recording software I can use. I can probably just use Movie Maker, but then again, I don't know. I've seen what Movie Maker recorded videos look like. They don't look very good. Anyways, <laughs> I just hope I don't have that problem again here. If it goes, you know, if the video lags behind, I'm just going to ignore it. But, um, anyways, this whole climbing the seal part actually kind of annoyed me because you'll notice that sometimes those barrels roll down the hill. Ow. And it took me for- ow. It took me forever to realize that all I had to do was do the spin move to deflect those. Because otherwise I would just always get hit by those and there was nothing I could do about it. Well, I wanted to hit that thing. But whatever. Get- ow. <coughs> <coughs> mm -hmm. 
So yeah, if you guys have had to watch a couple videos with desynced audio, I really apologize for that. Because as it stands right now, there's probably nothing I can really do about that other than not mess with my recording software when I'm actually recording. Because that shit causes problems. Alright. Well, I'm having a ton of problem trying to get audio levels right. Because of course I don't listen to the capture window, I listen to my... Or, I listen to my game audio as it's actually happening, whereas some people listen to it like 10 seconds later. They use the project. Or Brobeck, okay. You know, they use the capture software's audio as their main audio source for the game. I don't know why you would want to do that, but... Whatever. <clears throat> Anyways, that's, um... That's Midday Garden cleared. I should also have Sunrise, sunrise Spring cleared. I'm gonna check my Atlas here to make sure I'm not missing anything like I did in Spyro 2. Anyways, let's see here. Yep, these two are 100%, and let's see what's over here. Yep, just Fireworks Factory, and that's it. And, um, the boss. Alright, we're doing pretty good. <laughs> 69. 69%. <laughs> oh my god, what's wrong with me? I don't know. I really don't know what happened, and I do apologize for the out of sync audio. Assuming I haven't edited it out. But I think by the time this video's up, that won't even matter. Holy shit, she's ugly. That's it. That's the most disgusting up. selfie I'm I've ever seen. I'm going to a monster to end all monsters. <laughs> and I'm going to send it out to destroy all the dragons, even the little hatchlings. Yes, yes. It will smash them and crush them and grind them and tear them. Oh, yes. Smear them and smoosh them and crack them and crease them. But, uh, won't that kill them? <laughs> well, that doesn't matter, as long as I can still collect their wings. It's my game all your love. What? All this time you've only wanted them for their wings? Of course, you ignorant girl. I no, need fine. them for a <laughs> spell, so I can live forever. Uh, uh, wait, wait a second, a, a spell? What did you think I was going to do with all those dragons? Open a zoo? Who is zoo? <laughs> <laughs> you said just keeping them in our world was enough. You never said you had to kill them. I don't have to kill them. It just stops them from wriggling so much. You're terrible. I can't believe I ever listened to you. Stupid, insolent brat. I'll take care of her as soon as I finish off that dragon. Now, where was I? Ah, yes! Uh -oh. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Damn, that sorceress is hardcore. <laughs> That's exactly what I thought when I was a kid, actually. I was like, Damn. This game is edgy as shit, boy. Speaking of which, I'm currently Shadow the Dragon right now. The sorceress plans to use this monster to destroy every iota of her opposition, beginning with the two of us. Alas, there is no time for ruminating. A battle awaits us. I will endeavor to assist you by means of a steady provision of combustible projectiles. Oh my god, I love this battle. Okay. You have no idea. Alright, crabs. Get rid of the crabs. And as Bentley said, he will give you ammo to use to defeat the boss. Um, it gives you two types of ammo. There's rockets and there, and then there's also these little, like I guess, rapid shots that I have right now. Those things are more useful than the rockets. All right. Mainly because they all do the same amount of damage, but you have so many more, you know, um. I don't know what they're called. Rapid shots that it doesn't really Ow! That was cheap. That doesn't really matter. Uh, 
I love this music too. Damn it! Ow! Oh shit, I'm gonna die. Ooh. I am gonna die. Yeah, he's really hard to hit when he's moving. You kind of have to hit him when he's staying still. Whew. Really use some health. I don't think any of the bosses give you health in this game, except the last one. Ooh, I managed to get a lucky hit in there. Oh, hey, look who it is. Except he's ridiculously easy now. <laughs> That's kind of cool, though. I like how they do that. Ooh, wow. I didn't think it would be that easy to get rid of him. Alright, James. <coughs> Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Now this time we're not going to exit the level, because if we do, we're going to miss a cutscene. The escape. Hi, Bianca. Did you bring any more food? I'm starving. There's no time for that, Hunter. We have to stop the sorceress. She's gonna kill all the dragon hatchlings. Wait a minute. Why should I trust you? This could be another trap. He has you an excellent need, point. Furry numbskull. How can I trap you by letting you out? I don't know. You sorceress types can be sneaky. <laughs> I never thought we were gonna hurt the dragons. Come on, we don't have time for this. Alright, final world time. Um, I'm just going to do one one level here, which is the level with the new character, and then I'm going to go back to Evening Lake and take care of everything. Oh, come on. You know what? This entire game was going fine until today. But whatever. <laughs> now I'm getting interruptions and whatnot. It's getting really annoying. It's partially because I'm recording later in the day than I was the last two times. Spyro, I know you don't trust me, but I want to help you stop the sorceress. There's a way to open a hidden portal. Can to you the fix the lag? Take some very strong magic. If you can find more of the dragon eggs, I think my magic will be strong enough to open the portal. <clears throat> I'll come find you when you have enough eggs, okay? <laughs> she has bunny boobies. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Look, I thought she was hot when I was like seven, okay? Alright. Seki! I really love this place, actually. It's a pretty cool place, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, it kind of reminds you of Winter Tons, where doesn't it? Alright. Well, well, Spyro, look what I have here. It's a life-size space monkey action figure, complete with a fully operational laser. Yay. I'd love to let him out so you can play with him, but the sorceress seems to think he's a menace. <laughs> nah, you can keep him. You don't want to free him? Oh, what's the matter, little dragon? Are you just jealous that no one's ever made an action figure out of you? Oh. Well. Really, son? <laughs> <laughs> You've always had a weakness for helping silly little creatures, haven't you, Spyro? Oh, well, I suppose there couldn't be any harm in letting him out, could there? <laughs> All right, the dancing bear, yay! <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> I'm free! Thank 
Thanks, Pyro! Ooh, say, you ever see a bear dance? No. I love this scene so much. It's your lucky day. Check this out. Isn't he? Not much stamina, though. Too bad I had a lot more ammo left. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> anyway, I heard all about how you've been fighting the sorceress and her armies and kicking all that butt, and I just wanted to say, huzzah, yippee, woo Wish I could stay, but my homeworld's been overrun by Rhinox since I've been captured. If you happen to see the sorceress, tell her I'll be giving her dancing lessons real soon, know what I mean? You bet. <laughs> Later. What the... You know, what the fuck? <laughs> what was what, what is wrong with that guy? Okay. Okay. Why am I back in the rocket? That's weird. That always happens here. Actually, it used to not happen. I don't know what the hell. Okay. Anyways, Agent Nine Slab. No, not that Agent Nine. A different Agent Nine. Psychonauts reference. What was that? Did you see a Rhinoc? I thought I saw a Rhinoc. Ooh, take it from me, Spyro. Never spend a week in a cage. Ah, next thing you know, your whole island will be knee deep in Rhinox. <laughs> well, gotta go, Mr. Laser Blaster, and I have a whole lot of work to do. All right. Ah, oh, look at this. Nine, my favorite pupil. Welcome back to my island laboratory. I'm afraid Rhinox have taken over the whole island. Perhaps you could stop them before they destroy all my research. Hmm. How the hell did you get? Well, he actually explains how I got here, but still. Let's um, shoot all these down. Oh no. I'm sure there's no one behind here. Oh look, there's someone behind there. Also, look at the draw distance, guys. <laughs> oh boy. Alright. Agent 9 is another gameplay style that a lot of people don't like, but at least here I can kind of see why. No, oh, it'll be just like old times. Try shooting these dummies to get warmed up, but uh, be careful. I think a Rhinoc might be hiding among them. <laughs> All right. So let's see here. Get rid of that. There we go. I really like Agent Nine's fame. He also has a strafe move, which is funny because when Ratchet and Clank, when the first Ratchet and Clank game came out, that game didn't have strafing in it. So it's kind of funny how the game that has a mode that's kind of sort of a test for Ratchet and Clank in a way doesn't have strafing. I mean, the game before it had strafing, but that, what the hell is wrong with my speaking? A vast number of Rhinox are waiting to ambush us as soon as I lower this force field. I expect they'll keep coming until you shoot the red panic button next to the door where they come out. Alright. There we go. There we go. I'm gonna make sure there's nothing back here that I'm missing. Cause I feel like there might be a bottle up there. Nah, it doesn't look like it. Ooh, shit. Alright, come on. I'm just holding down the fire button and hoping for the best. At least you don't have to worry about ammo. Too bad, I got a lot more ammo left. <laughs> I love this guy so much. <laughs> Give me that. Hmm. 
I love his run too, it's just hilarious, hilarious to me. of Rhinox are hiding behind the display screen. I'll switch on the view pedestal, and you shoot them as they attack. I recommend using your sniper mode. The game actually locks us in the sniper mode here. Or no, it doesn't. Uh, when, Unlike the other characters, you actually stay in your first person view mode when you press triangle. Whereas, with the other characters, you have to hold the button down. It's funny how these guys take their sweet ass time trying to shoot me. So, Alright. Knew the last one was gonna be there. You cleared them out! Let's see what kind of shape the machine room is in. I have a feeling the Rhinox haven't been keeping it too clean. Just as I thought, the machine room is overrun with birds. To target the birds in their nests, you'll want to use sniper mode. Then, zoom in for pinpoint accuracy. Alrighty then. Oop. Oop, hold on. And we can shoot this one from there. Nice work, Agent Nine. Uh, I'm not sure if this is a bird egg or dragon egg. What do you think? <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Do do uh okay. Do that. Uh, uh, I can't. What the hell is wrong with me? Switch the gravitonometric generator back on. I hope no birds got in there. Soon. Oh dear. It's kind of hoping those bullets break a say onto the birds, but whatever. Alright, so tactic here. Just kind of aim at one perch. One nest, I mean. Why am I calling it a perch? These things are actually really easy to shoot. Yeah, here. You too. The lab's clear, and it smells better in here already. Follow me outside, <clears> where <throat> I expect we'll find some Rhinox wearing armor. You'll need a more powerful weapon to defeat them. I always really like the shooting sound, though. I don't know, it's kind of a funny sound for me. Right. I don't know why I keep strafing, there's no reason to do it. I think you kind of move a bit faster? I can't tell. By my calculations, the bombs in this handy vending machine should be highly effective against armor. Give it a shot! Alright, now we get bombs. It really is like Ratchet and Clank now. Because we are super duper hardcore. We don't need anything but bomb gloves and blasters. Blasters. Maybe a rocket launcher later. <laughs> That is how you play Ranch and Clank 1. <laughs> that's not how I'm that's probably not how I'm going to do it for the let's play, but that is the way I usually do it. Alright. But anyways, if you want a skill point, you blow up all the pineapples. There's some big ass pineapples too.
<laughs> wow, cancels out your strafing for some reason. <laughs> There's a good way to keep your momentum up, just strafe and um, jump. Okay, no. I'm bullshitting. It's not the best way to do that. Alrighty. Oop, hold on. <laughs> Bombs? <laughs> that is so old. I am so sorry. I should be banned for the internet for saying that. Let's get rid of these guys. Cause you know, they're totally bothering us by swimming in our water. <laughs> He's just like, hi, bye. <laughs> Alright. Tony. Actually, funny little glitch here. Sometimes it'll say you already have this egg when you pick this up. Like, the counter will still go up. It won't completely screw up your progress, but... I don't know, it's just weird. Happens to me almost every time I play this game. It didn't happen this time. This was always kind of annoying for me. Yeah, I hate that. Shit, I turned around and... Yeah, these guys are really hard to hit. So you're pretty much out in the open here. Well, that guy doesn't seem to want to have to activate. There we go. Easy enough. It used to be so difficult for me. So easy Thank you very now. Much for saving my laboratory. <clears throat> uh, now I can resume thinking. Yay. Roll on. Or Rowan. <laughs> no. I love that. See if I've missed it. Yeah, bottles. No. Gotta keep an eye out for those. No. For some reason, there's a sit row sit row of gems in that basket or barrel, whatever the hell it is. All right. But I think we've almost got all the gems, so. Yep, there we go. 700. That is a lot. Alright, well that's it for this level. Now we're going to go back to Even Lake and do the Sparks level there and do the Agent 9 mission that we couldn't do the first time we went there. I actually don't know of any way to glitch the game to get in there early. 
but whatever. 